Tony Meredith and Melanie LaPatte. This couple partners each other well. By that I mean that they always seem to be dancing for each other at all times. They have good body speed and good rhythmic interpretation. Melanie is a very sexy looking and shows desire in her movements. They have a strong dance foundation from which they build exquisite routines. I think their best dances are the samba and the cha-cha. They are celebrating one year of marriage and just returned from Holland, where they placed fourth in an international competition. Tony's masculinity brings out her sensuality. They are considered trendsetters in dressing choreography and have a lot of soul in their dancing. Backstage, where they'll try to relax and psych themselves up for the next round of competition. Both at the same time. Both at the same time. <laughs> they'll practice the dance they drew from the bowl and hope that the years of hard work will pay off tonight. The Latin solos are coming up shortly, and while we wait, let's take a look at another championship couple. These are the winners from the American Smooth Division performing of Viennese Waltz. Let's watch. Viennese Waltz. Senda Fumero and Terry. Rosenda and Terry Fumero, who live in Houston, Texas. Rosenda's originally from Cuba and Terry from Michigan. They've been dancing together for seven years. For the past three years, this couple has won the professional American rhythm title. Viennese walls. It looks so elegant. I just wish I could do it. Oh, Rita, what are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm learning from you, right? Yeah, you're asking me for dancing lessons. Yeah, so only, but only if you include a mamba lesson or two. Well, you, you've got it. Okay. We'll work something out for sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> it looks like John Morton's ready to announce the first of the six solo couples, so let's go down there and watch the Latin solos. Raphael Colon with Gabriella Young. And they're presenting a giant. A little opening applause, audience. This is Raphael. 
Danielle Colon and the beautiful Gabriella Young, who are from the Los Angeles area. Gabriella has been dancing for 11 years and Rafael for about eight. Together they've been dancing for three years and already they've won the 1988 Rising Star Latin Championships and appeared on the television show Star Search. Dancing is a full-time job for both of them. Jean-Marc Genero and Franz Mousseau are from Montreal, Canada, and they are the current Canadian Latin dance champions. They performed earlier in the modern division, and here they are again doing their Latin solo. They are 10 dancers, which allows them to compete in both competitions. They were amateur champions before they became professional competitors about four years ago. Here again, we have Pierre Allaire and Mireille Villieu from Montreal, Canada. We saw them earlier in the modern division, and here they are again competing in the Latin section. They are the current Canadian professional champions, a title they've held for the last five years. They've just returned from Moscow, where they were performing.
Tony Meredith and Melanie LePan, who are from the San Diego area and have been dancing together for nine years. Tony is originally from Samoa, an island in the South Pacific, and Melanie from Long Island. They are the North American Latin Dance Champions and are currently the third ranking Latin dancers in the United States. They travel extensively throughout the world representing the United States. and Shirley Ballas are from Houston, Texas. However, they also have a residence in England where they are able to train with overseas coaches. They've been dancing together for seven years. They are the current United States Latin champions, a title they've held for the past five years. They placed fifth at the World Latin Championship held last year in Norway. They have recently defeated two of the couples that were placed ahead of them. I tell you, it just seems to me that they're awfully hard.